Hi everyone. Welcome back to the floor. My hair was being very defiant today. So we've wrapped it. Today is going to be just a really short video. I say that it's going to end up like 20 minutes. I feel it in my soul. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be a short video. I'm doing my mystery book unboxing. Woo! Okay, so my book is this. Um, I ordered it from uh, an Etsy shop. Um, cause Jack, so Jack Edwards made a video where he was sent some mystery books and um, they, it was quite funny. And if I can find it, I'll link it below. And a company decided that that inspired them so much that they decided to set up an Etsy shop for mystery books. Um, and then they sent him some books and he unboxed them. Uh, and I decided that I thought that was a really nice idea to sort of pick up books that you might not have ever thought of before. Um, and they have on their Etsy shop, they have, I think it's Ren Bird Books, and I'll leave the Etsy shop link below. And they have the option to choose fiction, non-fiction, or uh, surprise me. When I went to order, um, they didn't, uh, the fiction was out of stock and the non-fiction was out of stock. So the only option was surprise me, um, which is quite funny. So it's probably what I would choose anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's what I chose. I chose surprise me on their, um, um, on their website. And this is how it came, came in a purple package, which is quite funky, quite like it. And then inside is the book. It's wrapped in a um, like brown paper packaging and then tied with a string. They've stamped it with a seal, which I think is so cute. Please forgive my nails. I've been wearing red, um, <laughs> red nail polish and it's stained. But yeah, so you can tell that it's like inspired by the wren bird. Can you see here? I'm assuming this is a wren. And then um, on here, they've left a little note. They, it did have um, also like um, little things that came with it, but they've fallen away now. <laughs> but it says, one of the finest steampunk novels of all time. Packs so much into a single book. So I'm quite excited um, to unbox this because I quite like steampunk. Uh, aesthetics like my my mother is quite into steampunk she has a few friends who um all like wear steampunk attire all the time uh so i think it'll be quite interesting to read a book this is that's in that sort of um uh, remit so let's unpackage it oh okay so do i have to break the seal actually hang on let's see okay there we go <laughs> And then they've taped it as well. Um, Okie dokie. I'm very excited. <laughs> and thank you to Renberg Books, by the way. It was very nice to get a note on the front of the package. Okay, so you can all tell me if you've read this um, and if you have what you think. Okay, so it's called, Ooh. there we go. The Court of the Air by Stephen Hunt. This is a fantastical tale of high adventure, low life rogues and orphans on the run. I'm actually reading the Lies of Lachlan Moore series. Um, and that's got a kind of roguish vibe. It's quite steampunk, but also like dystopian future fantasy. But this is um, giving me similar vibes from that description. So I'll read, I'll read the blurb for you. And I love the artwork. Whoever did the cover art for this, it's really beautiful. <laughs> um, and it's a hardback as well. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I didn't pay that much either. I think it was like eight ninety nine or something. Um, I think it's about five quid and then with shipping it's about eight eight pounds or eight nine pounds. So the back of the book reads 
Strange. It was not past ten yet, only an hour after house curfew. There should have been some cheap tallow candles burning. The orphans reading penny dreadfuls, talking, eating fruit, lifted from magnet market's throwaway bins. The room was pitch black. No skylights to the street above. Molly reached for one of the matches and lit a candle. Cheap plywood bed frames lay overturned, hemp blankets scattered across the floor. Not just blankets. Molly stood over one of the bundles off the floor, on the floor, hardly daring to flip the huddle over. She did. Rachel's cold, dead eyes stared back at her. She would not be waking. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> I think that's quite cool. Maybe sort of um, crimey as well. It's quite large text, so I think you could read through it pretty quick. So yeah, I'll be reading this and I'll let you know how it goes. Um, so this is, this is now on my TBR. Uh, so yeah, that was it really, that's the video. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know about Renbird books and um, unbox my mystery book for you. Uh, so yeah, it's approximately 500 pages that you get for eight or nine pounds. Um, how many pages was this? So this is, yeah, this is 582 pages, this book. So yeah. Oh, it has an extra description. Yeah, so this book was originally 12 99 or 28 95 Canadian dollars. Okay, so that's the video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.